Hello, this is Elaine with Antelope Beads, and today I'm going to show you how to make a coil bail. I've got here a Kazuri pendant that has a pretty good size hole. Uh, the hole is really, though, too big to just accommodate a jump ring, uh, and so we're going to use a coil bail to be able to attach this to a quarter chain. So I'm going to use the a Sharpie, and I can use anything. I can use a pen, a wooden dowel, variety of different things to form my bail around. I want it to be about 10 millimeters because I want it to go onto the 10 millimeter cord and I know that this is going to be big enough. So I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of, and this is about a foot of 18 gauge wire, and I am going to hold the Sharpie right on top of the Pendant. Now this is going to move quite a bit as I work with it, and that's okay. I'm going to get that about halfway through, and then I'm going to start to roll the wire around both the pen and the bail, and I'm going to straighten that up as I go. Again, this is not necessarily a tremendously elegant process, but it works. Get that around one more time. And then I'll go ahead and work the other side. Okay. As I get a couple of wraps in place, it goes a little easier. There we go. And I think I can, we'll stop right here with four wraps. Okay. I am going to then pull this out, pull the pen out. I'm gonna go ahead and trim these towards the back and towards really the inside of the pendant, the hole of the pendant. And that looks pretty good. I just want to make sure they're not going to snag anything. Now the, the bail does tend to want to sort of separate a little bit and I might like that look and I can just use that as part of the decoration of the bail or if I want to hold it together a little bit more I can take a piece of 20 gauge wire, insert that in there, and I'm going to almost fold this around my coils. And I think I want to get one more fold in there, so I'll push the tail through. And you notice I'm, I'm really folding more than wrapping here because I want to keep that, that flat surface right here. So once I get to that point, I am going to trim these two tails to about a quarter of an inch beyond the edge of the coils, and I'll use a pair of round nose pliers, and I'll just grab the end of that tail and circle it around up that way, and then down this way and I can take a little, little bit more time and just straighten that out and I have a little decorative figure eight piece for my bail and this will go right through the 10 millimeter nylon cord and there is a coil bail. Thanks so much for watching.